Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for what is it? The, what is it? The uh, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, whenever, right? The timing is fluid, so this reading is not sign specific and it is not time specific. So we're just gonna see what comes up. Oh, we got somebody here that has selective memory. It's like they only they only remember what they want to remember. They only, you know, hear what they want to hear. That you know, it's selective memory. You know what it is. It's like somebody that chooses not to remember things that, you know, have taught them something. Right? I just don't want to remember that, or I don't want to hear it, or I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. That's what it is. I don't want to hear it. Some sort of truth is being revealed. You know, I think we are going to do the live tonight if you want to check in later. I didn't do it last night because I was so tired. But I think we'll do it tonight for the collective. Just going to be a talk show. But anyhow, what is coming up? What is coming up? Trying to find balance. I see the Two of Pentacles, which is... You know, juggling, being flexible, just trying to make a decision. What are you, what are you doing? You may, somebody may, you know, is it going to be this way or that way? Struggling to make a decision, struggling to make a choice. There could be two choices, obviously, with the twos, right? There's two choices. So it's like you got to choose something. Trying to, to do both, trying to be flexible, trying to handle two things at one time. So we have a juggler here who who is in the process of making a decision which one do I want or which road do I go down or which path do I take what is going to be the most profitable for me but in the mo meantime this person has been doing both but it may be getting a little overwhelming hmm. five of wands so the five of wands is some sort of competition playing games perhaps chaos struggling now, there could be a dispute. There could be a fight when you get the Five of Wands. So, sparring, fighting, in-house fighting, going back and forth. Somebody is all over the place. It's really unsettled. There is a really unsettled energy here. There's like a lot of fighting going on, pettiness, petty behavior. I mean, the energy is that of sparring, okay? It's like... You want to fight about this? You, you know, that kind of thing. You want to fight about this? You want to argue? You want to debate? It's kind of like a debate. Well, let's debate about this. I know more about it than you do. So there's definitely a, an energy of, you know, pettiness, petty behavior, um, or fighting, some sort of fighting. Four of coins. We have some stubbornness here. The four of coins, very stubborn. Now, uh, this could also be obsessed. Somebody may be obsessed. Now, the Four of Pentacles is stability. Obsessed with stability. Obsessed with money, perhaps. Obsessed with holding on to something. Greedy. Very greedy. Ooh. Now, there could be some sort of ruin here when you get the Five of Cups. Well, I can't talk. It is Mercury retrograde, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Five of Pentacles reversed. So this is this is some sort of ruin, unhealthy, unhealthy relationship, unhealthy habits, a major loss. We do have a major loss. Somebody is going through some hard times. They're struggling because I saw that two of pentacles. They're struggling. Fives are about conflict. Okay, we have two fives here. There's fives are conflict. Okay, they're they're conflict that brings about change. And the two of pentacles is about change. Something about change. So we have somebody that is obsessed with holding on to something that is troublesome. It's definitely troublesome with these two cards. It's it's not stable. Okay, but they're obsessed with holding on to it. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's unhealthy. Um, it's insecure. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of bickering. There's a lot of pettiness. But somebody is obsessed with holding on to it. Very, very stubborn. Sweet. Yeah, we have some stubbornness here. Um, hmm. Six, uh, yeah, unwilling to move on. Six of swords reversed. 
Yeah, so we have somebody here that is really struggling to get to a better place. We may have a victim mentality, you know, that victim right here with the five of coins reverse. Somebody that sees themselves as a victim. Now, the five of coins can also be a card of consequences. So there could be some consequences for not moving on. There's definitely going to be fighting because that first card is fighting, arguing. Um, troublesome. There's trouble. Okay, there's trouble in paradise. I don't even think it is paradise, but it is stable, okay? It's stable for some reason. There's some sort of, but this is instability, but holding on to it, I'm not sure why. Obsessed. Obsessed with holding on. Maybe holding on for financial reasons. Oh, my God. Ugh. It don't look good. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this is a major loss. And I saw it up here. And typically the Five of Coins isn't, I mean, it can be a major loss, but you you usually don't say that. But I said it. No, I just go with whatever comes out of my mouth. Now this is a major loss. So this is a big, huge loss. So I have somebody here that has been holding on. They've been holding on. They've been able to hold on. They've stopped somebody from moving on or they've stopped themselves from moving on and they've stayed in a troublesome situation. They they may have been uh, afraid of being disgraced or they may have stayed because, uh, well, the five of coins, they were receiving something, obviously. They were receiving some sort of payment or some sort of handout. That's why they stayed there was some sort of gain. There was. There was. That's why they didn't move on. But now there's going to be a loss. And it's going to be a big one. Because the Ace of Pentacles is huge. Okay? This is a huge lost opportunity. It's a missed opportunity. Somebody did not plan. They didn't plan effectively. Or they didn't follow through. Or something like that. This person has been holding on. But and they, it, there's been a delay. Okay? There's been a delay. But I think the delay is almost over. Uh, Queen of Swords. Uh, now, the Queen of Swords is very authentic. She is very truthful and honest. She is brash. And she sometimes can be hard to deal with. She speaks the truth and she demands the truth. So, she's very intelligent and she investigates. So, we have this very intelligent uh, investigator here who has some sort of information, okay? Because that is the sword of truth in her hand. It also is the sword of power. So she has some sort of power, okay? She knows the truth and she has some sort of power, okay? So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. This woman is uh, very, very upfront. Matter of fact, she speaks the truth. The whole truth and she doesn't, it's not about feelings, it's about the facts. It's about the truth. So she has some sort of information that is going to probably cause... She's pointing up here at this competition, at this conflict, at this chaos. So this truth, she has some sort of information about this situation. Okay? Whatever this situation is. This Five of Wands, I mean, this is... And it could be litigation. I don't know if there's some somebody is going to court because this could be a lawyer. Okay, and this could be the litigation going back and forth, going back and forth. And if it's not the law, this could be between people, it could be between friends or family members or um, relate any kind of relationship. There's a lot of going back and forth. There's fighting and there's debating and, you know, arguing. And there is somebody here that has some sort of information that is going to cause a loss. Okay. Um. Eight of coins. It has to do with putting in effort, hard work. Because this is hard work. Working really, really hard. We do have somebody that has been working really hard. And it's like to prove something. Or to build up something. So this person has been working hard. And it looks like working, you know, at night. Working at night. There could be a sudden departure here with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands reversed. There's somebody that is moving too fast. Somebody is acting reckless. Now, this could be a fire sign. Leo, 
Aries or Sagittarius. This person is loud. This person is a troublemaker. This person is overly competitive, a know-it-all. Okay, we have somebody here that has a chip on their shoulder and they know it all. This person doesn't uh, think before they act. They just act. They, they really, this is a know-it-all. This is somebody with a chip on their shoulder. I, I don't need any advice from anybody because I already know it all. This person acts very recklessly with that attitude. They won't take any advice. Um, this person is always on the move, cannot sit still. So we, this this could be like a sudden departure, and I'm not sure why, from a job. Somebody could get fired, okay? They could get fired from a job. There's, there's a huge loss or, they, or, or something like that. And this could, this could even be a boss. This is somebody in authority. She's got the sword of truth, and she's got the power in her hands. So the, and if it, I'm not sure who it is, but this person right here is a professional of some sort. She could, whatever kind of profession she does, she is professional. Okay. So she knows something. Okay. What, and she, that's advice in her hands. I mean, she has solid advice. Okay. She, or whatever she knows is the truth, but this person won't listen. So we do have somebody that won't listen. So this is skilled. So yeah, we have somebody here that is very, very skilled. But this person that will not listen is going to have a huge loss. Interesting. Judgment. This definitely could have to do with a court case, but it, it may not be. We have somebody here that is about to get a wake-up call. Okay? This is an awakening. This is the truth being revealed. This is karma being held accountable for your actions. This is an ending. Absolution. Are you ready to be judged? Somebody's about to be judged for their actions. Somebody is about to be judged. And it's this person that is obsessed. This person is greedy. It's this person right here. And I think this person, this person is the same one. But there is somebody that likes to fight, that lo that thrives on competition, that needs constant attention. This person that is greedy and selfish and stubborn, that has probably abandoned somebody and left them out in the cold, uh, treated them unfairly, is about to be judged. And they could be judged. This is karma. They could be being judged from the universe, right? They could be. Okay. So uh, somebody is about to be judged, whether it's from an actual judge in the physical sense or, you know, it's somebody in a higher power. Um, somebody is about to be judged. And this person right here is about to experience a loss. I feel like we have somebody here that left somebody in a troublesome situation. It's like they abandoned them. This is a ba This is. It's like they abandoned them. This is going right here. Um... We have a life-changing decision that is coming up. Three of Swords reversed. Now, this is somebody... I think we have somebody that left somebody behind in the past because of their greed, because of their selfishness. And, and, and it's like they abandoned somebody. And, I, and there's a quote I'm trying to think of. It's right there at the tip of my head. It's like... Uh, it's like when you use somebody. It's like the worst. I can't. I don't know the quote. It's like when you awaken a person's feelings of love, and you. It's like you pretend that you love them and you never did. You know what I mean? I don't know what the quote is, but that's what the quote is about. It's like I don't even know. I've I've seen it a few times, but anyway. But that's what this is. It's like we have this person that. Uh, hurt another person i mean this is the three of swords there's been some sort some sort of separation they abandoned them they abandoned another person neglected it's like they left them when they were down you know what i mean they they left them at and when they were at the worst part of their lives you know what i mean that kind of thing so I think we got this greedy, selfish individual that is about to experience some sort of, oh, I think it's a setback. I do think it's a setback. And I think, feel like it's a loss of a job, something to do with work or money. 
it's gonna it's good this karma has to do with financial loss that's what I think some and it, I mean it, there could be a partner as well because this is a sudden departure okay so whatever this is somebody could it's like this is a, a suddenly leave a job so I'm not sure what it is something could cost a lot of money put it that way the three of swords reversed is the past it's the past hurts okay the past pain it's like the pain has already happened this person is does seems to have no remorse either. There's no remorse here. But left this person abandoned and troubled and heartbroken. So we have this this person up here that now is it going to experience a loss for what they did? Five of swords reversed. Wow. Now we got these three fives. Expect the unexpected. Life is about to change. There's a major life change that is coming with 555. Now the Five of Swords reversed is exposing crime. Mentally dysfunctional. Um, it could be a war. There's like some sort of big, huge fight going on here. There's going to be a massive fight that causes a huge loss. And I don't know if it's war. We talked about this already. But this is a hostile situation. There's definitely some hostilities here. And there's some somebody that is acting very, very, very recklessly. Somebody, you may need to protect yourself. I mean, that could be a weapon. This Queen of Swords, I mean, that sword is a weapon. So there's protection that is needed. There's a beat. Yeah. So my advice is to protect yourself because there is going to be an ending. Because this is, this is, this is a, I mean, judgment is an ending. It's an absolution. Okay, so there's going, and it's a sudden one. So, uh, hmm. this could even be a police officer. So, the police could get called. There could be a battle or a fight or a hostile situation. And I don't know if it's like a, what did I just see? It's like in, I don't even want to say it because it will scare people. But I did see a city, and there's like a, but there's like a, a riot and I'm not trying to scare anybody this could be personal okay it doesn't have to be that big it's like there's there's just you know I mean you know so uh, whatever it is I think there's gonna be a massive fight that ends in a huge loss somebody could end up you know the police could end up getting called um, we have the emperor on the bottom in reversed. So there's probably somebody, a masculine energy that is going to get angry. Very, 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 very angry. This person um, is corrupt. And this is criminal activity for their own good. Somebody that is power hungry. And I don't know if I said said to you early, but the, the emperor reversed is a masculine that deserts you in the time of need. So I think this masculine is about to experience some sort of karma. And I'm, I'm sorry. And, it, and a masculine, I mean, it can be a female that is very masculine. Okay? So keep that in mind. This is somebody that is, uh, or, you know, takes on masculine energy, whatever. This is a masculine that is, I think, is going to have a huge loss. This one has the power has the power, has the sort of truth, okay? So there's some sort of truth, because this is truth being revealed, and this is too. There's some sort of truth being revealed that is going to cause chaos, okay? It's going to cause an uproar of some sort. Uh, there's still going to be no more working together. There's going to be no, uh, there's been no teamwork. There's a lack of respect. Um, I think there's, there's going to, I feel like there's going to be an angry outburst. It's like this, it's like this guy is just waiting to blow things up. You know, he's this, I don't know what this is. Um, so just be careful. Um, and something, it could have something to do with a ship. I don't know. Um, what the hell is going on here? This is making something. Um, I don't know what is going on, but it looks like a war again to me. It does like it's, it looks like it's a war 
And I feel like there's going to be a huge loss. And this could be a family situation. I don't know what it is, but there is some sort of fighting that, or, or scrambling or something that is about to go on. This is a corrupt leader. There is going to be a huge loss for that ace of coins. That is big. Could be just a job. Could be a job. Two of coins. That and I was just gonna say one. The the first card. Remember, I said I saw this, and I was gonna say last card. This is somebody who is getting ready to make a decision, and and, and it's like they throw it up in the air. This in this deck, something gets thrown in the air, you know, or out of the air. <laughs> oh. I don't know what is going on. But the two of pentacles is is geometric powers that are at work. They're powers that are larger than ourselves. I started with this card, the two of pentacles. I, I didn't have it in my hand. I saw it in my head. And I'm ending with this card. So there is about to be a change. Somebody's about to take a step. They've been thinking about it. Time's up. One of them's going down. So yeah, a choice is about to be made. Somebody, something's going down. One of these pentacles about to hit the ground. It's over. It all starts with, with some sort of decision because 555 five, five, expect the unexpected, but it, twos are about decisions and choices, and this is a decision as well. This is a life-changing decision. This is also a wake-up call, and this is responsibility and being held accountable. Somebody is going to be held accountable for their reckless behavior. Good luck. 